take it then just absolutely like lever drags are so advantageous when you're trolling because you can actually predetermine enough tension so that you don't break the line when they hit mm -hmm. but when you have that fish on you can put up the full strike and not have to guess like a star drag mm -hmm. a star drag. okay one or, one or two more things and that's we're out here on the water it's it got a little snotty out there yes, it, did. it can get snotty like this and it can go flat like that absolutely okay one of the things that you have on your is that garmin uh depth finder that you have. Now, what model is that? And just kind of you know, quickly a uh, split screen, got all kinds of stuff. Oh, yes. Yeah. So I uh, had upgraded to the Garmin 3010C. What this particular unit gives you, it gives you radar, it gives you your chart plotter, it gives you a fish finder, and more importantly, it gives you 250 nautical miles of weather overlay directly to the XM satellite weather rate, uh, satellite. And that, that was really kind of a funny thing today because we actually got under a cloud bank and you said, Eh, it'll be going in about, and there it was. It there was going. It was. And again, that's, you know what, you, you said it's 250 miles, but that saves you a lot of worry because you can see a storm coming. Absolutely. You can see some bad weather coming in. You can get to safety. And it, it's a great machine. I, I really, really like it. And the clarity is. Uh, oh, it's it, phenomenal. It's, it's just unbelievable. Thanks, Fred. And that's the tackle box. Yeah, what we have is the sod bank. This is the Raritan Bay southern end shoreline of. Uh, the sod banks, and all we're doing is just working these sod banks just like we would work, you know, in freshwater, same thing. You know, these fish are going to be ambushed and they're coming up and down this beach. We have this this uh, sandbar up here, and all they're doing is just coming up and down this sandbank. Uh -huh. And they're just, just chasing the, the, the bait. That's it. Now, fishing this is a little bit different because of the tide situation, right? You yes. gotta worry about the tides now. Well, yeah, right now we're at, we're at super high tide. Mm -hmm. So right now we have three to four feet of water, but at low tide, this is <laughs> exposed. This is maybe six inches, if that. So when, you're, when you come to a place like the Raritan, I mean, this is a pretty big bay, uh, to be honest oh, with you. Oh, absolutely. Um, Chart-wise, uh, can you go to the local uh, tackle shops and get the charts? I oh, mean, absolutely. You just get Captain Vic's charts uh -huh. and you could use those charts. Nice thing about those charts, those will tell you, uh, you know, the contours, how deep it is, the holes, where you want to go. Mm -hmm. Right on the other side of where this creek mouth comes uh -huh. in, you have this sandbar. Mm -hmm. There's a deep hole right on the opposite side of that. Now, will those fish move up on top of that sandbar? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. You just work, work the sandbar above it, uh -huh. all in that area. Now we're throwing minnow plate type plugs. Correct. What kind of what kind of plugs would you recommend if you're going to go for the stripers on on, on these plugs? Um, you know, anything that that's going to mimic the, kind of the bait that's out there. Mm -hmm. Like right now, you can see the bottom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're on the bottom. Yeah, I can feel I'm just tapping on the bottom. Oh yeah. yeah. Nice thing about this boat, it only drafts eight in, uh, 12 inches. Wow. So there it is, right there. Yeah. So what we have situation here is uh, you have a creek mouth coming right in. Uh -huh. Okay, you've got the sod banks and you got a creek mouth. And as you cast over here, you know you just work your lure back. As a matter, oh, there we go. Matter of fact, right over this creek mouth. <laughs> I like Look it. Look at this. I like it. I like it right it. on that creek mouth. So what they, the Achilles and the minnows. Yeah, because and... what you got is the bait coming right out of the creek mouth. There we go. Look at that. All right. Look at that. Nice Come fish. right off this nice creek fish. mouth. Nice fish. Right here. Nice fish, Fred. Get All right. Get right right on the lure. Nice job. Yeah. Look at that. Right off this creek mouth, what happens is these fish will chase those baits right up that creek mouth, and they're also mm -hmm. waiting for them as ambush feeders. And again, one of the things that you, what we have with these lures and stuff like that is that they look like a disoriented bait fish because Absolutely. it's turned up. And, uh, Absolutely. Then they'll just come in and whack it. Now, where now those fish after this tide goes? Now, where will these fish drop off to? They'll go out to the to the ledges where we were fishing mm -hmm. in the mussel beds. Uh -huh. But right now, at this high tide, this is where they're ambush feeding right uh -huh. in here. Mm -hmm. And they'll just push all that bait up against that bank. Absolutely. And especially with this. Tank. Oh yeah, this is perfect habitat. Mm -hmm. You have sod banks, deep sod banks. There's like five feet of water over there. Yeah. And you have this feeder stream coming right in. And that just pumps that. Stuff it just in. pumps that bait right out. So, and there was a fish right on it. Yeah. Yeah, I love when a plant comes now, together like that. Oh yeah, that. now what we have is over here, this is actual Pebble Beach coming around to Union Beach. 
And over there at that point seems is my favorite spot. Uh -huh. I can't wait to go throw some plugs over there and see what we get All going right, over there. there. Okay, here's a good tip. If you're out on the out on the bays, look for these sod banks and look for those little streams coming in. We do the same thing in freshwater too, when right. that water's coming in. Absolutely. They just go up there, especially in tidal water like the Delaware River and stuff like that. Right. They go up in there as soon as that water tide that tide turns, boom, they're That's coming it. washed out and that. All right, I'm gonna throw a plug. I'm gonna catch one of them fish. All righty. Oh, yo, yeah. Oh, there you go. All right, right off that side bank. I right told you, right off, off the side, side bank. bank. Nice fish. Man. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, that's a nice fish. Yeah, let me come around you. Nice fish. Again, just right off of that bank. That's it. They're sitting right on that sand yeah. side bank. Dang. And they're uh, just ambushing. Great job. Good cast, Bob. Just, I'm trying to get him over this way. Come here. That's it. Oh. Come on, come on. I have to walk him to the back of the boat. Oh, that's a little bigger fish. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to move back. So you get back here. All right. Can you get him, Fred? Yep. Yeah. Oh, all go. right. Let me see Look that. Look at that, huh? Huh? Do you hook him here? There you go. All righty. Nice side nice. bank. There you go. Right side there. bank. Hey, you got to get out here on the Raritan Bay and catch some of these Absolutely. fish. Absolutely. Well, more information, go to our website, DelawareValleyOutdoors.com. Link right over to your website. All righty. Get out here. Beautiful. I love when a plan comes together. There you go. Friend. All okay. righty. Hey, I'm Bob Murray. I'll see you on the water. Beautiful.